show and far beyond. Far beyond my drink right here. I do not know what this is. <laughs> I'm just playing. It's the new Cali Cream Cali. For more Cali than cream, actually, because someone Cali'd my cream. It's actually from Mother Earth Brewing Company, man. Yeah, but like, you know, it, it's it's Mother Earth, I know that, but it, it's creaming, as in it's Cali creaming me. Oh. Because, you know, we live in Vermont. Because Mother Earth Cali creams you in Vermont. I love I love Vermont. I love the trees. I love the desert. It's beautiful. I love the um, the, ocean. The, the Tokyo lights. I love, oh, I love Vermont. The, oh, the, the racing scene here is amazing. Uh -huh. You know, with all the Tokyo lights. I it's love it. The, but you know, as all things they say, in Tokyo you must play Nintendo games, and Nintendo games are not really what's going on here because there is no topic in the world of gaming news this week. Yes, yeah, sadly today, and also in Vermont, there's nothing happening, you know? I mean, it's a slow week, what can I say? I mean, E3 just happened, there's nothing going on. I mean, yeah, everyone just shot their information load, and everyone's like, what? You know? So we, all we gotta do is wait for the sweet games to come in. But in the meantime, what we could talk about is... We'll be talking about the remakes, the remasters, and all the reimaginings out there in video gaming, because, hey... What kind of pod game podcast is there if we just talk about the same crap that's going on that everybody already knows? I mean, that's right. I mean, it's like the education systems, the reading, writing, and arithmetic. Just, just hear how retarded that sounds right there. Yeah, right. The that's <laughs> the reading, writing, arithmetic. Yeah, well, this is, these are actual arts. Yeah, right? God damn it. Remakes, remasters, and fucking reimaginings. Now, what we mean by remakes, remasters, and reimaginings, we're talking about games that are have come out recently. I mean, you could throw the word sequel in there, but it doesn't roll with the R's. It's like, R, 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 it's like, like, you know, when you're talking in Spanish, it's like, Let me try reading, writing, arithmetic. <laughs> Why don't I say that again? You know? I love those Spaniards in, right? in, uh, Spaniards. in northern, right? um, northern Canada. <laughs> yeah, but okay, so we're going to be talking about games, how they're, they're, how they've changed over the years, how some games have been brought back to life, you know, <laughs> and, you know, Give some games have bring out their new sequels and reimaginings pretty much like remakes from the ground up you know we're talking about like how the newly announced Resident Evil 2 for an example that's, Jesus, that's a reimagining not well, only that. well it's a remake and a reimagining well I mean the control scheme alone just made me go ooh I mean, I mean, I'll pop it, it, it on yeah it's not a one to one remake you know it's it's an actual like you know there's some new shit to it so it's kind of like a reimagining I love the, I love how it plays I love the the, the look I mean, it reminds me of um, Resident Evil 7, how they just said, you know what? Why the fuck can't we go in first person? And it felt like an actual Resident Evil game. That's the first time I'm like, yep, this is Resident Evil, instead of Resident Evil Presents an Action Movie. <laughs> right? Or better yet, uh, right? Resident Evil... Um, uh, what was that director's name? Uh, Michael Bay. Michael Bay, Resident Evil. Dude, that was fucking five. Right? Resident Evil 5 was Michael Bay, Resident right? Evil. Right? Because he was punching there boulders. There zombies and shit. No, it was Resident Evil 4, bro. No, no, five, yeah, you punch the shit out of those boulders in five, you know? I was thinking of six or some stupid thing. You like crass, you work out, you I'm know? I thinking about six where the guy was doing karate moves. I, I, I played... You didn't play six? I only played uh, Chris's six, it's you know? It's not actually that bad. And everyone said, like, it's you didn't play the bad. rest. It's not that bad. It's, uh, it's all right. I, I think it's it, all right. I sh it should have been done better. Oh, yeah. It's not the mean. worst game Metal Gear Solid survived, but it's, oh, you yeah, know, right? it's... Exactly. It, it did a good job. But, I would okay. say it did a decent job. We'll, we'll, we'll jump more on that, because we're also talking about remasters, remakes, such as the Spyro trilogy coming out. Oh, my God. I literally forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Dude, the Ground the up remake graphics of that. But, but unfortunately, the soundtrack is not going to be the same. It's going to be like a, you know, remake uh, soundtrack as well, which is like kind of, because kind of like a, how do I say it, a... Uh, I, I, remix. If I if I remember if I remember correctly, remix should be another R in there. Um, <laughs> but, right? No, uh, Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition. No, okay. Um, but Street you, Fighter Five. Five Arcade Edition. Remix. No, no, just five remix. because arcade should have been five. Uh, no, anyway, no. But what I'm talking about, like, uh, like uh, because I guess uh, if I'm correct, yeah, I think Stuart Copeland did the music. You know, the guy from the from from uh, the police. Yeah. The drummer what? from the police. What? I could be wrong. For Spyro. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think he did the original soundtrack, so it's not there because, you know, that's kind of like uh, trademark music. Wow. So, yeah, I could be wrong. It could be Stuart Copeland. I mean, I, I could totally uh, buy it because, you know, past, in the past, games have not been released on P PSN or Xbox Live because of yeah. copyright infringement. So that could be uh, that could be a logical thing. Yeah. Um, saying that, though, uh, god damn, though, Spyro Trilogy? Yeah, oh, dude, ground-up remake of that stuff. It's, like, similar to, like, the Crash 
uh, remaster trilogy, for example. That's a ground up remake, you know. And um, games like that. Um, what else? What, what, what can we say is also kind of remake? You got the Shenmue tri- HD trilogy coming out. Okay, uh, and not only that, Shenmue three. Shenmue three. There's your there's your sequels right there. There's dude, the S and the R's. Three for Christ's sake. It was hey, fucking long time coming. Dude, everyone was like, what? <laughs> I mean, damn. I mean, like that's just breaking it down. I mean, we're about to break these shit down. I mean, like for real, I mean. Straight up, dude. I mean, Shenmue three. That threw me off. Hardcore, man. That was the last fucking game I was gonna expect to yeah, come well, out. Let's start. Know? Let's start with that. All right. So well, actually, you know, I'll say another game in a sec. But you know, you know, well, I'm say. Well, but uh, I mean, I, that was one of well, them. You know. Yeah. yeah exactly. Right. <laughs> um. Thing like you know, like I mean, we could go. I keep going on with examples. You know, Bloodstain, Mega Man, Eleven. Dude. Blood, like you know, so, System uh, Shock. System Shock. That right. one alone. So, right. Okay. So let's let's start off with System Shock. That, yeah. That's a good example. Okay, so what, recently, uh, you, you tell the story, huh? Like, okay, so on E3 a couple of years ago, what, two years ago, they actually announced System Shock, and everyone, the original from uh, part one, so everyone in the theater was like, well, what the hell, and the way it played looked like it was modernized, and this is the one time in my gaming uh, uh, life where I can say that's, <laughs> yeah, practically, right, where I can actually say thank you, because... As much as I love the series, you know, the two games, mm-hmm. I will still play part two more than one any day in the book because part one, holy Christ, it, I think you need to get a goddamn dictionary or a manual just to play that game. And if you had the original goddamn game with no mouse support, it, you had to actually plan it. You're like, okay, there's an enemy. I gotta see if I have this, that, this. This is not like Stalker where you gotta oh, like, yeah. be tactical. Oh, stalker, no, this yeah. is you have to be fucking a general. <laughs> yeah. Just for a little tiny ass enemy because you never know what's gonna happen because the control scheme was so dated. Now they updated it, so I'm guessing it's gonna play like. Um, Isn't it weird how computers have done that? Oh my god. You know, like g- gaming computers, like their what? controls that so were all daffy back in the day. Dude, one key was for reloading. Oh no, 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 actually, no, what? No, no, no. no. It's one, the way you reloaded in System Shock, the original one, was actually dragging the cursor to the, the icon and pressing reload, not a button. Oh, that is daffy. Yeah, so now they're gonna make it playable. <laughs> you know? Right? I mean, that's what I love about the current current uh, gaming scene, you know? It's like everything has been modernized, control-wise, like, to kind of a perfect stance. Like, right now is the best time to... to I mean, let's say this. Original ideas, yes, you're off the, the thing. But guess what? The best control scheme is out there, you know? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know? You know, best control schemes, you know? Like, I mean, like... I mean, you know, we all know how computers were made with mouse and keyboard, but a lot of games are kind of being optimized for, you know, dual stick, and yeah. and that's kind of, I would say, kind of an almost perfect kind of control, because it's kind of like universal, you know? I mean, to me... Now, now, I mean, like like I said, with, with keyboards too, you know, walking is W-S-A-D, you know, that's what? Yeah. And, and mouse, I mean, that's that's all you need, really, I mean. The, the thing is, back in the day, though, was like, the best control scheme for me is, uh, and I, a lot of games copy it, you know, Borderlands, uh, certain mm-hmm. other first-person shooters, is a Call, a call of Duty control scheme for first shooters, right? Yeah. This is a good example because back in the day, let's say GoldenEye or uh, or System Shock 2, for example, is you press a control, I mean, you press a stick and, not a stick, a button and you move your whole body to the left instead of using the mouse itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's just daffy. I mean, who fucking one day thought, wait a minute, this is stupid and just, you know, just did the current setup that it is today. I mean, I know, right? It's like, I don't know, you gotta think too, the Halo fucking Xbox now. Oh, no, <laughs> No, that did modernize shooters. So I they, they literally did, you know, because everyone said... I love the original Halo. Everyone said, like, uh, yeah, GoldenEye was... was yeah. You know, everyone said, GoldenEye is one of the greatest, you know, yeah. control schemes. Like, first of all, no, it's not. No. I would say Turok is better for for, for its control oh. scheme. Second, Halo made it fucking... Ga- made first-person shooters playable. Everyone... Here's one stupid thing I hear all the time. Like, everyone says the best fucking control scheme for a shooter on a console is Prime. I'm like, whoa, step on the brakes there. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> you can't shoot with Prime. You know, you can't lock around with Prime. And if you have a good problem with sticks, here's a good example. Uh, not good. Example. Here's a good bro. idea. Keep playing. Right. Keep no, playing. no, 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 no. The, the you know, like a uh, fucking get good eventually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'll get good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just eventually you'll get used to sticks. It'll be good. It's not gonna be as good as a mouse and keyboard, but hey, it's a mouse and keyboard. Right. Exactly. But yeah. what I'm saying is like you know, seeing, hoping to see System Shock freaking. Uh, 
you know, hopefully they bring that to the new new generation, and you know, we can start pretty much mm-hmm. yeah, System Shock, System Shock Two, System Shock Three, maybe. Yeah. You know, I mean, like you know, we got Bioshock obviously, which was kind of like a successor to it. That's what I'm talking about reimaginings. You know, yeah. Bioshock was a reimagining of System Shock in a sense. I mean, just said that took place in a weird watery world. It was, of it was space. really System Shock. Yeah, in space. System Shock. Andrew Ryan. Wait, is that guy? Yeah, he was named Andrew. My name is Andrew Ryan, and I was really pissed off with politics, so I went under the sea. Yeah, under the sea. <laughs> well, that no, makes creations. You can't, you, can't, you can't do that. What? Yeah, Disney will get you for sitting under the sea. Well, I, I, just, I just said I'm going under the sea. I'm not like, I'm, I'm, I'm not crabbing the bill. Man, I, almost, I almost crabbed it. Bill. No, I almost crabbed it. <laughs> you can imagine that. Hello, I'm, I'm, my name is Bill the Crab, and I'm gonna get this 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 mermaid across the sea. She sees a bloke. She's liking a bloke. Her and her, her, her swordfish friend. Uh, uh, you don't even wanna know about the real story of that shit. No, I know about the real story. Oh, that shit's terrible. Yeah, I know. It's a terrible, terrible story. She Damn. dies. Uh, her feet feel like stepping on glass. It's terrible. Like, there's a lot of bad things about that's it. Like, I don't that's, know how that's the... like, like Walt Disney was like, like, yeah, I love these old stories. Yeah, that I want to wait. Wasn't that in the '80s though? No, it so, was so, Like, no, wasn't the Little Mermaid in the '80s? Yeah, it was. So that was like after Walt Disney died and shit. So yeah, some, some masochistic fucking son of a bitch was like, yeah, we're gonna get an old story oh. and turn that shit fucking like. Oh, look at Snow White though. You know, you know, she. Oh, yeah, um, that's true. In the old one, they piped her when she was still there, and she yes. came and she had a kid, and she, you know she's oh, there. Yeah. This one was just a kiss. Oh uh, yeah. That, and okay, yeah. This this yeah, this, no. this topic kind of went way off. All right, just to uh, say, anyway, anyway. just to say, it's for the Grimm brothers, you guys are Grimm. So Good, back to reimaginings. But reimaginings. <laughs> okay, now reimagining to me is kind of like. Okay, like this game been forever, taking forever to come out, but Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. You know which game that is? That's from fucking uh, Koji Garashi, I- Iga, whatever his name is. Iga Kurosaki. Yeah. I mean, fucking, no, he's, he's the dude who did <laughs> Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I'll just say that. Symphony of the Night, Ritual of the Night. Did he do Symphony those yeah. sweet ass DSs? Um, yeah, and no. I mean, like, it's kind of all based off his style. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it is that. I much. mean, because I saw some developer with the cowboy make the latest one. And yeah, yeah, that guy, that, well, yeah, that's him, I think. Yeah, he's the one with the cowboy hat. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, but I mean, like, so Love he's, games. you know, Blessed Every Chill Night coming out, it's going to take forever. The game is probably going to land like a wet fart, unfortunately. I mean, no, I hope it's great. No, I mean. But, but based on what it looks like, it looks like it's going to be great, but kind of like, okay, I mean, this took you that long to make. Well, the thing is, when it comes out, though, it's... I mean, we gotta think about games that take a long-ass time to come out. Kingdom Hearts 3, you know? I mean... Death Stranding. Damn. <laughs> well, that, that's him in general. I mean, you give him a, you give him two eggs, it'll make him, like, three days to make an omelet. You know, I'm just saying. Yeah. No, no, I know, I know what you mean, but I mean, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, fucking, um... No, but I'm looking forward to that. I mean, they just ha- had a... They just kind of released like kind of like a mini one, kind of. It's called a Bloodstain. Uh, oh yeah, the one Curse of the Moon game? or something like that. Yeah, yeah and it, it was, you know what? It was practically fucking uh, Castlevania three. Oh, that's awesome. So it was, it was sick as fuck. That's what I'm talking about. Like reimagining. I mean, that's good for the, the you know, you know. Sometimes we need those old school games back. I know, but because I mean, come we, on, I mean, we gotta have those old school developers too, though, because. Oh, yeah. Because the one of the games I've been wanting for the longest time is a reimagining of fucking Streets of Rage. Uh, now, here's the thing why I'm afraid, though, is because when I saw that, um... And I never played, um, Double Dragon. But when I saw that neon Double Dragon game, I'm like, uh, I don't know. No, I don't want that. Because I hate slow... Ass, you know, uh, games. combat, yeah. So you're like, oh, that slow, being said, did you play Dragon Double Dragon Neon? No. It was fucking great. I heard it was good. I fucking played it. it was I just, I don't want that slow. Yeah, ass no, I get what you mean. I mean, Shaq Fu fucking reborn. There you go. There's your oh, fucking there's, sequel. There you go. It's a goddamn fucking, sequel. Uh, what's fucking Shaq, Shaq Fu fucking. Uh, Steel. What's it called? Shaq Fu Legend Reborn. Alright, okay. and you, you get to play as Obama. Obama? Obama. So, so what do you do? You like, you go, you get your. Your ninja gear on. <laughs> you get your like former president gear on. You go to Syria and just attack him. I think he's like on a motorcycle with a gun or something. I don't remember. Attacking Syrians. Yeah, I think he called him like fucking Obama Black or something. Something like something. So kind of like noir. Day. I don't know. The people who created this game are Ooh. daffy as fuck because it's called Shaq Fu. That's true. But to beat him up has uh, nothing to do with Shaq Fu. I'm gonna play with Shaq. <laughs> uh, you ever played the original Shaq Fu? No, because it was Shaq with a basketball kicking people's ass. No. I would love for some coder out there to fucking get that game uh-huh. and make the controls perfect. 
because the game itself is daffy as fuck. It's a fighting game. Yeah. And I mean, like, you have to look like I mean, you have to play it to believe it. Are you, are you talking about like Street Fighter One Daffy? Oh no, 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 no. Like broken That's Daffy. Daffy. Broken Daffy. No, it is broken Daffy, but uh. in a different way. It's kind of like say, uh, okay, imagine. I can't explain it because you have to play it. But was it that? Oh, it's kind of like those game of balls. No, it's okay. even worse than that. Okay. <laughs> imagine you press up to jump. Yeah. A fraction of a second later, he jumps, and oh. he jumps like twenty feet across the screen. That's not good. That's All like right. virtual fighter bad. No. Uh, fuck, dude. I mean, I wish I got to show you footage of that shit because even looking at you, you're like, what? why is he doing that? It's just... I why, why is it? Well, I wish somebody would go back and fix that game because the concept idea is stupid. Again, man. But it's... like, like I like the idea of it. Just kind of like... You could make a solid fighter out of this if somebody knew how to code this shit. I'm just saying because when I was in fucking... Back in the day when I, I was in Blockbuster and I saw those games that ran... I saw that game and I'm like, nope, no, nope. yeah, Shaq-Fu. Shaq-Fu, nope. I'm just gonna get um, uh, Sonic Three or fucking uh, Street Rage Two oh, or true, something. True story, bro. I used to get rent my games from this uh, this Chinese uh, um, gaming place. Yeah. Like, it was like a video store these Chinese people owned, but they had all the rare games. And when when they were closing, they started selling them, and I had picked up a bunch of those rare games at one time. Down. Dude, I had, had Mega Man X3 for the Super Nintendo. Punch. I had fucking, like, I had tons of old school games. I mean, like, I can't name them all. <laughs> the I, like, uh, it's got, I don't know whatever happened to them. I don't remember whatever happened to them. They just disappeared eventually. One of the 17 f- few subscribers were, like, listening. What? At the time, <laughs> at the time it was released, Final Fantasy VII, I bought for, like, 10 bucks. Jesus. Right? All Damn. three discs. Damn. And then I bought Bomberman Fantasy. See, what, what the hell? You, see, you, you, <laughs> you, you ended with a good game, and then you just had that slow-ass, like, like it looks good because made by Japanese people game, you know? I mean, I'm going to say it looks good, no, but... Have you played Bomberman Fantasy Race? I've seen you play Bomberman Fantasy Race. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love I'm like, what the hell's going on? They're getting their game daffy as fuck. Yeah. We need a remake of Bomberman Fantasy Race. No, we don't. We need a, a, a Bomberman. We need... No, uh, Tournament no, they three. just released Bomberman. You haven't seen the no, no, Bomberman? Bomberman uh, R or something? No, no, not that. I'm talking about Fucking Bomberman WWE Tournament. WWE wrestler Xavier Woods is in it. You know that with the dude with the trombones and the cars? After I get that game, because New Day kicks ass. The New Beyond, Day news. Yeah. Days rocks. New Day rocks, New and I want to box that bootios. Yeah. No, but besides that. But yeah, you know, he's in there. Master Chief is in the Xbox version. Awesome. Uh, Ratchet & Clank are in the Sony version. Who, 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 which version is in the, in the, the bootios version? Which, which, oh, he's on all of them. Awesome. He's on all the bootios. Oh, but besides that sweet it, now I want to uh, buy the game. Nintendo gets, a, Nintendo gets a... Zelda? No, I don't think they get any character, actually. Yeah, I think yeah, they get, Zelda, like, Metroid? Uh, no, they don't get anybody. Wait, wait, wait. I got Mega 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 Man? What? Not even Mega Man, because we all know that... Mega Man! You know, because Samus was fighting, you know, Mega Man, oh. and he had a bastard child. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I know, you, you already know this, but Ridley on Smash Brothers... What? Sick. Where's Ridley and Smash Brothers? And Mega Man. That's why the freaking thing keeps stopping recording. There's an ant walking around on my screen. There's an ant on your screen? He just fucking would just be like, take oh, this, stop, baby. Man. Here's your stop button. Here's a stop, baby. This is a podcast. Just rid his ant. Yeah, this away. has Ooh. nothing to do with this, by the way. You guys don't know what we're talking about. Because There's an ant on, the, on our we keep editing. We keep editing the audio. We keep editing the audio. Yeah, we do. <laughs> anyway. All right, but, but anyway, besides that Bomberman goodness you Bomberman said. Bomberman goodness. I want a remake, uh, not a remake, but a sequel to that Bomberman game for the Game Boy Advance. Oh. Remember that, that one? The Remember that one? Like RPG-ish. That one, Oh, yes. he's the dude on the Nintendo one. What? It's called, on, on the Nintendo, you get to play as that dude, Max. Seriously? Yeah, the, the, you know, like that one barman dude with the cape? No way. Yeah, so he, he, you get him on Nintendo. So you get Switch. to play as Master Chief? Yes, on Xbox, yes. <laughs> get it. And Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank. Seriously, why the hell was he ha- why did he have a cape? Uh, why does a fucking suit cape? Because he's Max. No, I'm talking about fucking Master Chief, but now saying it again. Master Chief? Why did he have a cape? I, I, well, I mean, okay. You're the Xbox guy here. No, actually, Michael did you, is. Did you play... I know. Uh, did you play? Uh, I didn't play five, Master and Chief I did not play finish four. Five, whatever. Master Chief five. The last game I finished um, was, I was Reach. Say, well, I was gonna say, so, did he have a cape on that, or was that just that one trailer? I don't know. Again, I didn't play five, and I didn't finish Reach. four. Reach was the last one I played. Yeah, but I mean, if you really like your sequels, furry, you could just you could just pick up the new Bubsy game. No. Yeah, but it's no. Bubsy. But it's Bubsy. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, Bubsy? You know, Bubsy. You know that one uh, oh, New, York, you... New York and talking... Hey, I'm New York and talking Bubsy! You mean that annoying fucking...
fucking critter. Yes. Who, who, who was okay in a uh, 16-bit era and yeah. then had a PlayStation game and then, and then I, I, I got 3D and it was terrible. Yes. And then I yelled at my cousin for hours. I'm like, why'd you buy this? Why'd, why'd you, buy, you this? buy this? He broke it. And you could have bought Jet Force this, Gemini. He could have bought, bought Jet Force Gemini. He broke the disc. He slid his wrist the wrong way, by the way. Oh. Hey, kids, you're doing it wrong. That's why. And, that's why he's still alive today. Sadly, yeah, that's why. You know, and I still make fun of him. <laughs> him and his Bubsy shirt. Bubsy couldn't kill. It's like Bubsy couldn't kill you. He just a Bubsy fan just busts his door. Hey, hey, I don't exist. <laughs> he just go away. <laughs> Look at dude. But no, for real, talking about PlayStation era fucking characters who fucking don't seem to want to die. Yeah. Fucking, we got fucking Final Fantasy VII remake is happening soon. Ooh. Soon, as in, I say that because um, by the time somebody listens to this podcast, maybe two years later, it's probably still hasn't gonna be out. Yeah, it'll probably be out like two months from that time. Yeah, probably, maybe. <laughs> no, no, Final Fantasy VII remake's been on the books for a while, but I, 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 I'm not gonna be optimistic about it because okay, fucking um, the guy said that he's working on uh, Kingdom Hearts like 24/7 and shit. So it's, it's the moment. Bad. Well, Kingdom Hearts already done, I think. Yeah. They said that what's got the reason they're not gonna release it sooner is because. Uh, I think the PR people told them don't release it in December because that's a stupid move. Why is that? It's fucking Kingdom Hearts. Because you got to... Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. So they sense. said, okay, but it's pretty much done already. It's cool. So, okay, so now with that 100% done, Feb? They, now he said that all their focus is going on Final Fantasy VII Remake. So. All right. Well, I, what do you think? Like February, March? Oh, no, 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 no. Not like 2020. And no, no, t- not, not that. I mean like uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Hmm. March. March, yeah. Huh? I say March because they said, like, they say February or something like that. I say March because of the fact that, um, that it's square. <laughs> it's square. It's square. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, square it's, good, it's good to push back games if you know, if you're doing doing them right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's fucking Kingdom Hearts, you know. I mean, it's going to take more time to convolute your storyline. I mean, fuck it. Somehow incorporate all the fucking Pixar style Disney movies because that's all it is. Thing about that, those games though is I don't feel like they, they, there probably is a bug, but you have to find it. You have to look for those bugs. Right? Oh, I mean, it's not like it's Fallout 4, you just st- uh, trip on a rock and a demon comes out. <laughs> I mean, demon. Uh, I'm the demon of the night and tripped all over this rock. There's a side quest, not really, it's a glitch. Nah, but yeah, so you know, Kingdom Hearts uh, 3 is already done, and I think, and so fucking, they said supposedly all their thing is going to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mm-hmm. That's gonna take some time, especially with Octopath Traveler and a bunch of other games still having coming out from Square that are probably gonna take up their time even more. What will be a Square wise I'm talking right now? And not, not the, the newly acquired Endos. Well, not Endos, I'm not talking about. Uh, what, Crystal what, Dynamics? Crystal Dynamics, there we go. What I was thinking about that company? Uh, because they originally did uh, Tomb Raider and yeah, Crystal yeah. Dynamics. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, oh! So besides, besides, the, besides them, though, besides them, mm-hmm. what other game would you want remade? From Square Enix. From Square Enix? Yeah, not Square, awesome ass Square. Fucking give me Chocobo Racing. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what, dude? It's like, I would love to see a remake of Final Fantasy 9 over 7. Yes, that's true. Hey. That, that's the fantasy. That's fantasy. Everybody's like, oh, what's the remake of Final Fantasy 6? You know what? That's too fucking no. hard. See, that's too hard. There's too much shit going on in 6. Here's the thing all the game developers will say that, you know. But the fans, though, would be like, eh, seven was, and when no one's watching, yeah. Yeah, nine. It's kind of like when everyone fucking says, no, Golden Eye is a shit. Everyone looks away, yeah, Half Life or Halo or anything else. Oh, yeah, right? No, 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 I'll tell you this. No, no, nine is more, obviously my favorite fucking fantasy, that, but Dude, I love that. Nine or fashion. fucking tactics. Give me a fucking tech. Ta- you don't even need to remake it. Just re-release it. Dude, my homies, fucking, my homie just. Fucking, give me a War of the same. Lions. Give me a War of the Lions, but like a better looking one. I mean, like, clean, just clean it. I mean, War of the Lions was fucking amazing. All right. I'll say one, though. Yeah. Einhander. Einhander. Yes. That's obscure as fuck. Dude, here's a th- I'm going to paint you a picture. My brother bought a PS, a PlayStation, right? So, it, it came with a couple of fucking demo discs. One of them was Einhander. Yeah. I popped that bitch in that PlayStation. By the way, I couldn't play it at the time, so I always had to fucking uh, take it out, make sure he didn't find out, plug it in. And I was playing that game, and this was fucking crazy. This was during the 90s when Cyberpunk was hardcore, dude. Hardcore! I mean, you shoot around, fucking, like it was German suppressing. It was, it was crazy, dude. Fucking, fucking, uh, Highlander 2 was out. Right. Fucking. That was, that was, punk everywhere. Wait, what? 
was 80s. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> talking about 90s. 90s cyberpunk. 90s right? cyberpunk. So I played that game, that demo. I played, not the game. I didn't get to play the game until like fucking five years ago, but I played that demo maybe a hundred times. I fucking times. love that demo. I yeah. know what you're talking about. A hun- I'm not even fucking joking here. A hundred, over a hundred fucking times. Anyone can say, no, that, no, no, no. I, that's how much I love that fucking demo. And every time I play that demo, I will pack that PlayStation back in the box, pulse that shit up, put wire after wire. I'm pretty sure that fucker what? put a hair somewhere so he can find out I took that shit. Why, why would he be so obsessed with, like, having his fucking PlayStation such a thing? It's a PlayStation. It's dude. a PlayStation One. Yeah. Bring me fucking, give me DLC for fucking Crash fucking trilogy well, with fucking with the Crash TCTR on it. Well, here's a good example why he was skeptical of his little brother fucking, you know, mm-hmm. fucking with the shit. Because his little brother, he, he uh, and I are practically the same with, with taking uh, care of shit. We still have our 64 controllers unfucked up. Damn. Know? That's, that's how good. Impossible. Yeah, that's how good we were with fucking yeah, having our systems. Yeah. That are still not fucked up. Here's a good example. We didn't let anyone put fucking Mario Party in our fucking 64. <laughs> if anyone popped that shit in, we'd give him a fresh slap in the face like fucking good fellas. Pokemon <laughs> Snapple. <laughs> Bing, pow, slap. <laughs> we did play Pokemon Snapple. Oh. All right, man. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap up the show pretty much with like what we hope to be like remade and shit. Even though we've probably been doing that for the like the last ten minutes of this freaking episode. Yeah. That's weird, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay, but you know what, what needs to be brought back. It's fucking the Bloody Roar series. I want a new Bloody Roar. If you could make a new Street Fighter EX without the Street Fighter, you could make a goddamn new Bloody Roar it fucking made, game. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's one of the few games where you can kick ass like a badass and have an erection at the same go. time. Boom! I'm a big <laughs> ass monster. All right, now. Right, it's kind of like the equivalent of video game erection. Saying that though, you know. Yeah. We had a discussion before. Uh-huh. I want to say Conquer's Bad for Day Two, but for fuck's sakes, God damn it, Valve! God fucking damn it! God fucking damn it! Half Life Three, at least that shit. God damn it! Uh, the very you, fucking you, least. Left for Dead. Left for Dead three. three. You guys can count to three. Come on, you can code. You, you can, can count. Do it. Come Mark on. Gavin is just rolling his money. You can do it. Oh, oh. Ooh, they're still firing up crack, uh, firecrackers in, uh, You're right. in, in, in place. Vermont. You're right. This takes place. You're right. This is like the sixth of July, and people are still doing that shit. This is the sixth of July, oh. and we're shooting off some illegal fireworks da, 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 da. in our beautiful da, da. state of Connecticut. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you're in New Hampshire. We're in the high desert of Connecticut. In New Hampshire. Not, bitch, we're in fuck Connecticut. What? Oh, wait, wait, well, that wing dingo fucking freaked me out, dude. <laughs> that wing dingo? You know, the fucking demonic fucking creature that if you see him, you're probably gonna die in a thing of fucking King Week. <laughs> Alright, what the fuck's a wing dingo, dude? Seriously, what the fuck is a wing dingo? I mean, I just fucking just told you. It's like a fucking... It, it, do you not believe in monsters and myths and shit? No, I just believe that uh, animals are not categorized. They know uh, that. It's not an animal. It's like a fucking demonic creature. It's an animal. <laughs> okay. you, you know what? Let's just agree to disagree that the Earth is flat. We can b- both agree that the Earth is flat yeah. and that I am the president of New Hampshire. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the flying spaghetti monster gives all. So don't you talk shit about him. You, you, the first rule of Spaghetti Club fight is not talking about Spaghetti Club fight. The second, third rule of Spaghetti Club, uh, Club fight is bring Parmesan. What's the second rule? Third, the third rule is bring <laughs> Parmesan. Bring Parmesan. <laughs> so, anyway, that, that that's about it for this week. I mean, like, as always, like, subscribe to the show. You know, if you want to hear our random ramblings about random things. That was a lot of R's. Just like this title of this show, which is a lot of R's and one S. Oh, nice for your recurring pun. Right, right. All uh, right. Uh, uh. All right, then. I've been drinking. All right. <laughs> we need to stop that shit. All right. Let's stop this shit. All right, so the doctor told me that I had a tumor in my liver, and I said, you're a tumor in the liver, and it went away. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Dude, I had liver cancer. What's his name? Doogie Hauser? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he was. He's like, you have li- liver cancer. I told him to go fuck himself, right? Boom, and it went away. When you turn into an asshole, you live longer. That's the secret of I life. I get it. Asshole, liver cancer, liver asshole, it's connected. My God. Sir, you have just found the... Th- oh, shit, dude. What? We just fucking revealed the fucking miracle of life on... Right, fucking oh, it's on not it. like pharmaceutical companies will kill us for finding a cure for cancer. Right. Turn that shit off now.